Ooh, what's up guys and welcome to another video from me, the Scarander. And today we have our second TPU game. I'm sorry for being so late on that intro. I was just focusing on um, like this he asked for a battle out of nowhere. Um well not out of nowhere, we're waiting for him to actually enjoy us. We're going against Gabriel the Bit of Wonder today. A very, 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 very powerful trainer and actually a player I have not gone up against until then or until now. So I'm a bit excited, I'm a very nervous, and um, if you see my pre-planning, you know what team I'm bringing. Uh, in short, I'm bringing Thunderous, Lando, Alakazam, Heracross, Cavalier, and Drapion. And uh, I'm trying not to um, get too excited. I, <laughs> like I said, I am nervous. Um, but um, he is definitely a powerful trainer, and uh, we've not had the pleasure of actually watching him playing his first game, which means that. Um, we are, actually it's not a disadvantage, it's more that now I don't really know how these teams perform, which is something we do want to know, but you know what, I got enough experience to pull this off, we're gonna invite him to the game, and we're gonna set up some music. I got really excited for the you know a theme from Final Fantasy, so that is what we're gonna play. <sighs> and waiting for him to respond basically. Um, his team is actually kind of cool. It's a bit more defensive. Um, we're very lucky that uh, um, he hasn't um, anything that is completely walling us. And uh, I got a good luck, have fun from him, and uh, I can respond because I'm plugged my <laughs> keyboard. Uh, just not post that on the chat for him uh, on my phone. Let's see, Gabriel, 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 Gabriel. Uh, Same to you. Alright. I uh, hope you guys are actually really excited. And also, before going in, uh, make sure to check out everybody else's channel. They are linked down below on this very video. Uh, their video is also up this Friday, which means that uh, there's a lot of content to be seen today. So, we are gonna see what he brought. Oh, I'm getting the shivers. Ooh, here we are. So, kind of expected. Um, Actually, really expected to be honest. I need to get my rocks up. I definitely do. Um, uh, I kind of want to think here. Uh, he could lead off with B drill. Since it seems my Lando. Um, there isn't really something that is uh, being totally traumatized by me leading with Thunderous. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. Now, he's gonna probably. In worst case scenario, he's gonna set up his rocks. In best case scenario, he will switch out to Dravaldi. Um, we'll just have to find out. Um, I'm just gonna write the team down. Took a picture of at least. You, Hippo, Embor, most likely Scarfed, Curum, could be Scarfed, Dravaldi, and Beedrill. Alright, let's do this! Let's do this! Got this! Fundo! Fundo lead! Fundo! 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 Alright, he does the aggressive play though. He starts directly for... For that thing. Ah, that ain't right. That ain't right. It could be a subset starting off like that. Should I try to shut him down? I'm going for it. If it's a scarf set, then I'm gonna. Alright, so that's. That made me believe that it's very likely that he is. Um... Ooh, we actually switched out completely. Hmm, interesting. That is interesting, though. Uh, so we show that we have found a way. Um, I assume since it switched out, that that is not something you want to stay into. Interesting. Hmm. We are hard wall by this thing, though. Um, I guess fine for my only Pokemon that can come in on this. 
Um, fine form is uh, the Cobalion, by the way. Sludge. Well, I hope it goes for Draco. That's like that's the best I can do here. Uh, always fully paralyzed, though. He is fully paralyzed. Is it early to set up? Where's his responses here? Hmm, yeah, I'm just gonna go for an iron hit. That's my safest play, doesn't really matter. Ugh. I'm assuming now that um, I can outspeed his Curum. Uh, it was very likely that he will bring his import here. Like I said, it's kind of dumb of me actually setting up. Um, that you know a theme is really short, isn't it? <laughs> so you're like all quiet for a while? Okay. Um, he's taking his sweet time though. Yeah, but Regal, you just not right to power on the side there. Obviously, that's not an ideal paralyzation, but at least we got that. Fly forward. He's really thinking about this. So he's gonna withdraw that. I assume he will bring. Um... Right, he brings Mew. He actually brings Mew. Ooh, that's that's kind of defensive, though, isn't it? It's kind of defensive. That's very defensive. Oh, we don't like that. We don't like that, though. Kind of surprised it didn't bring um, Gramble, actually. Could bring Baltasar here. Um, I think he'll go for rocks. He's either out of paralyzation um, or Willow. Willow is an option too, and if so, then you know, obviously, that's a joke on me. Uh, there's Willow Wisp, that's unfortunate. Didn't really want to have anything coming into that. So we have at least one option here, and that is we have the chance to go for a knockoff. It's kind of obvious. Still, that's my strongest hit. Uh, right, he stays into this. Interesting. Uh, so, we knocks out the leftovers. Uh, Tailwind. Alright. Not bad, actually. Not bad. Though obviously Thunder shuts this thing kinda down. <sighs> His tailwind is kind of redundant, but having this guy Oh this sucks though. So we got Willow Will Tailwind. That's definitely interesting. Um I go for another knockoff. See if that's recovery. That's a U turn. Alright. So hopefully this actually pays off. It doesn't have a lot of Pokemon that appreciate knockoffing. <laughs> Alright. So there's a Sandstream. Alright. Actually, it's the Sandstream. Fair enough. So we're gonna knock that off. Uh, potentially left doors, actually rocky helmets. Buff for the sandstorm and burn. Wow, we are at all kinds of hell here. <sighs> Another thing is,
We could sack him, but knockoff is always nice, and I'm assuming he's gonna go for rocks here anyway. I mean, this is his chance of doing so. I assume that is what I want to create here. So, Befelagor, do it! Oh, oh! There's the axe. So that's Ice Fang, interesting. Very interesting. That was his opening, wasn't it? That was his opening. So he's definitely gonna do that again. Um, he still got... Um, He's still got a tailwind up, so I assume he's gonna try it one more time. So he's got momentum already. And I think tailwind pans out now also, so let's hope for the best. Yeah, there's Ice Fang, that's okay. That's gonna do just about nothing. Oh shit. That is not what we were looking for though. It's too risky for me staying in. Um, that really sucked. There's a the stuff rocks, alright. Oh, that sucked though. This last hit should be. Uh, let's see, Sharon. Yeah, yeah, that's that's this guy, of course. Ah, look at the right. Right back to five four. I really need to fall out in some fashion here. Um, oh, this is gonna suck. That freeze really didn't matter since I have mana price. <sighs> I thought it was a good switch in. That's the worst part. I thought it was good. Let's see what he does. I'm probably gonna drag, grab a Drake on me. Thunderbolt. Right, so that's neutral damage. And actually, didn't do a whole lot. Let's see if we're gonna take a chance here to get some momentum. That's right, it's gonna withdraw that. We so need a fold out here. Kuji. Alright, Ember. Yes. That's good at, and bad at the same time, of course. Because I can't risk. I assume it's Scarf, so the Felgor is still my like smartest switching. And if he switches out, then I realize that he's probably banded. This is my chance of getting off my own rocks, actually. Not a big fan of the situation right now. Though luckily we did fall out. <laughs> like that's a thing. <laughs> Extremely lucky. Um, so Hippogon is in theory 
complete the world by compelling outside of Ice Fang landing here. Yeah. Alright, he's getting worried, I believe. That really threw me off a bit. That really threw me off. But War Foot Out, you know, that's that's really important. I really need to see him switch out. That's right, I do believe he stayed here. So Befelgor is gonna come in. He's gonna get the Intimidate off. And he has superpower, alright. So he did stay in at least. He's gonna get some nice rocky helmet damage there. Or not. I guess superpower actually isn't. Oh wait. I didn't need to check this out. Could it be? Could it be? Alright. <laughs> you won't believe me. I have power. So you know, that's a thing and all. So he'll definitely switch out to hit Town on here, right? That was supposed to be Rocky Elements, so that really sucks. That's the Sandstream up. Landing the Toxic. Uh, wow. So I'm not having Rocky Helmets here, which is really bad. That's actually... That's actually kind of bad. Um, The question is, should I try to get off my rocks here and just deal with it? I kind of want to hope that he overestimates his situation. It's a risk, but I think he will go for EQ here. He has no rocky armor left. Oh, I so, bad, I so badly want those rocks up. Hmm. I need to take a stand here. Alright, I'm gonna cop out. I'm gonna cop out and uh, go to. Um, Yeah, I'm gonna go to Baltasar. So I fall no matter what he does, but at least I get the momentum out of that. Um, knockoff is nice and all, but you know, I have to deal with that. There's Ice Fang, alright. He misses this one more time, though, this time it definitely didn't matter. Uh, still. That means he doesn't have Whirlwind. I just realized that. Alright, back to five horn. Gonna reveal the man at rise. Let's see if he actually if I were him, I'll probably go for um, a combination of um, a slack off here trying to survive. That's that's what I would have done if I were him. Yeah, there's a slack off. So like I said, that's something I would assume he's trying to do. Now he can't touch me. So I'm just going for an iron head? Since he has me and all. I 
I don't really want to set up. I think Close Combat is a better choice. I think it's gonna bring Embor. He brought him you. Ah, it's bad. You can definitely take this. So I do believe I am in an area where I can kill it. I think we take out the Mew already, which means nothing should be... Yeah, I think we can do this. Come on, come on, come on, Cabalion! Fuck yeah! It's out! Took long enough, but it's out. I lost some defenses. Mm -hmm. Right, to bring Sharon. I lost some defenses, like I said there. I'm not hurting it that much. Um, let's see if it drops Draco's there. I wonder. Um, this is kind of a weird play, but I think you guys will get it. If it drops, or if it goes a T-Bolt, which would be the neutral move, then um, I can go for uh, the rocks that I've been waiting for. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh, we live though. We live! Can't believe it. He's gonna go for a skull again, isn't he? We need those rocks. I'm sorry, but we need the rocks. <laughs> Alright. Like I said, we needed those rocks, so that's what we're going for. Form back. Try to wheel this guy down. That was some badass late game rocks, though. Do I assume his specs? He kind of has to be. Oh, I had me worried. Um. Right, he does stay in though. I don't know how much I'll do. Ah, that's not enough. That is definitely not enough. I have to keep going for this. I really do. Paralyze or flinch would be just splendid. Or, you know, we can just cut that completely out of the question. And we live it, but there's the burn. There's the burn. There it is. There it is. Alright, he's gonna withdraw that. Probably gonna go to uh, the hippo, alright. So there's a sand stream, and here's the iron head, and that should be just about nothing. Alright. As to that, as to that.
Trying to figure out which one is the most important for me. Ah, oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I know it's likely to sack drug all year. I know that. I really need our class to be T wave in the, the one that matters. In worst case scenario, that is. If Hippon was in low range of HP, I would have brought her across here and just finished it off with close combat. But I can't do that. Not yet. And I need to preserve my sash no matter what happens. Uh, as of now, that is. So we're getting that, that sweet area where I think I can pull that off. But I really need to destroy Beedrill somehow. But Beedrill has four times resisted hit from the close combat, which is sucking so hard. That's right, he does stay in here, second hit powder on. I assume. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely going down. Uh, so that's the powder on gone. Uh, he still has Embor, and he's still got. Um, yeah, all kinds of residual damage there. Uh, he got Hippo. Hippodon is gone, so we got Embor, Curem, and Dragoldi, and Beedrill. Hmm. Well, I'm not in the best position, but uh, hopefully, you know, we get something out of this. It's been a fun game so far, though. It's definitely been a fun game. Not too many hacks. The freeze definitely did suck somewhat. Alright. So we're gonna paralyze this thing. Uh, basically, to be out of risk. Alright, there's a Flare Blitz, that'll definitely take us out. Let's see what his plan is. I think Earthquake will kill him. Let's find out. Uh, I don't like this. I don't. But uh, this is probably the only opening I have right now. I can only hope that he miss predicts something here. But I think he's second that, I think I'll take him out here. Um, and there's the Moxie. There's a buff by the Sandstorm. He's thinking though, he is really thinking. 
Uh, the thing is here, um, let's see, he's gonna bring Beedrill, alright. I think we got this game. Had it brought Curem here, I would have tried to sack Alakazam actually, and uh, tried to force a Curem in twice. But I think we'll get the Moxie Boost we need right now. He's gonna go for Protect, that's fine. The next turn we will outspeed. I hope. I really do. I really do. We designed this to outspeed, come on, come on, come on. I hate the waiting. Oh, I think we got this, I really do. He's not gonna... I wonder. <laughs> Make this one count, Alpha Max. Make it count! Come on! Gabriel, do your decision! I can't wait! I am so like on the on the like up trying to say that I can't sit still. <laughs> Ooh, he's thinking. And I'm thinking. We are thinking. I really just want you to let that button go, Gabriel. Just let your hand slide through that accept button and let it just be. Come on, I know you want this too. I know you want to let that button go. Ooh, he's withdrawing! He's withdrawing! Why? Why is he withdrawing? His current could be Scarf still. No, the game is not over. His current could actually be Scarf. We're gonna find out. Oh, we did hit Tailwind for a reason on Mew. Alright, this is not Scarfed. This should definitely be an area where you should get die off it. Ooh, he does live it though. He does live it. But so do I. So do I. Actually, that if it killed Alpha Max there, it still wouldn't have mattered uh, because um, I still had that sash on you or you on Alka Sam. So, get rule, GG man. I really thought I was in a tough spot there. Oh, I really needed Hero Cross to break through somehow, and I lost Cabalion in a way I did not want it to go. And it just went downhill from there. But luckily, Alpha Max, the Heracross, much like Dianchi, find a footing late in the game and just breaks through everything. Everything! That's ah, awesome. I am so glad this actually worked. Obviously, like I said, Gabriel, GG, that was a very, very exciting game. I'm gonna shut down this Genova because it is only two minutes long. I can't believe it's super annoying to listen to right now. We won! That was what mattered. That was awesome. <laughs> so obviously, I need to really, really look into this game. You know, what did happen? What did I do wrong? Because I did wrong. Uh, first of all, not Rocky Element on Landers. I had power on that. That obviously <laughs> wouldn't help at all. <laughs> so you know, that's my mistake. Um, luckily, it didn't matter that much. Um, I needed the rocks up, but yeah, obviously he missed. The first Ice Fang. Uh, that Ice Fang would not have killed me, but since he got his rock up later, I could not have switched in and out against that M board from on and off. So that obviously did matter. Now we missed a second time um, against Rapion, which falls with Burn, which it didn't really matter, and he got the freeze on my Cabalion. Now I do fall out really early in the game, but hell. 
who the fuck cares about that? Um, I obviously since I fought out, I couldn't set up. And the second time I went against the Power versus them, I really was whittled down by HP. I couldn't risk and go for a sword stance, thinking that he would probably be set up. Though obviously he was in a range of HP where his slack off really wouldn't have helped him a whole lot. So therefore I went for Magnet Rise and I was hoping for a sword stance set up afterwards, but I didn't want to risk the Embor. The Embor was definitely annoying. It was a Pokemon I couldn't take out. Uh, depending on if it was scarfed or not, and really now, why would I risk that? Now, I think the damage output on that uh, M board did tell me that it was a bandage, but, um, you know, obviously me being all nervous and all, could not really focus, I just really needed to, in some fashion, break through. Uh, Thunderous did not do a whole lot of this battle, it did took out uh, Hippodon, which is, of course, always nice, but... Um, through and through there, um, it definitely was there as a safety net for Beedrill and Curem. They, they, they both could get paralyzed against me, which is something that I was looking for. Uh, now, Dragaldi, I knew it was going to be a switch in through and through the match, but I was really in, never in a position where I didn't or did want to over risk anything or, uh, you know, break through and do uh, over prediction because had I done that, I would have been very likely to lose some on, and obviously. Dragalia did pack Skull after all. Now Landers did leave it because of some investment in my special defense, but <sighs> that was tough, that was tough. And obviously the burn landing through against my Rebellion did suck, uh, since I had the Dragalia Bolt paralyzed and actually it was in 20% error flinching it, which means a very small chance of attacking me. It did break through every time with Skull and eventually that burn would actually kill my Rebellion. And of course, Kubel would be probably the Pokemon to break through outside of, of course, Beedrill, but I had a response to Beedrill as long as Alakazam here are so healthy. Like, I did not worry about Alakazam or um, Beedrill as long as they two were around here across, and Alakazam was my late game response throughout the match, and obviously they did outspeed the whole team. And um, me being a against Alakazam meant that his Beedrill couldn't kill the one go. Now, I should mention that had Heracross fall against that Ice Beam from Curem, I still would have lost because I would have outspeeded, first of all, the um, Curem. It wouldn't have mattered, it was Life Orb, so I had enough speed investment to deal with that. And for second is, I had Sash intact to go into the next matchup, which would have meant that his uh, U-turn Exister would bring it down to Sash, but the Psychic would take it out, or Psyshock. So anyway, Gabriel, thanks so much for the battle, and wow, I had a two... Three solid minutes of me reminiscing this game. It was a good game, man. It was really good. I was glad I won. Finally, this is where it's at. This is how we do it. <laughs> but obviously, Gabriel, thanks so much for this battle. And thank you, Ellis and Rob, for supporting me, being my co-coaches right now. Though Obviously, Ellis did the majority of this game's uh, setup and ideas. Uh, obviously, I uh, input in it also, but he refined it. He always refined the stuff that I miss out on. So, yeah, thank you so much, everybody, for watching, and have a nice weekend, for fuck's sake. Take care, guys. Bye.